Yep. New AV receivers from Yamaha has been announced and it is coming really, really hard for the budget uh, market. In fact, right now, this is a very, very fantastic announcement from Yamaha. One of the very, very best audio manufacturers on the planet, period, bar none. Uh, they have announced today that they are, are not, they're actually releasing two new AV receivers, uh, in their budget, uh, lineup called the RXV series. Uh, I, I think it's even a new series because this hasn't even, even existed in their lineup. So this kind of like is a new series that they just announced. Uh, it's very affordable. It's their new lineup. Uh, the RX, uh, V series would comprise of two models, the RX V4A and, uh, the RX V6A. Now, both would support 8K. 8K, guys. They're both gonna support 8K video, um, processing. They're also gonna support HDR10. Um, they will also support uh variable refresh rates uh to give you uh, smooth uh gaming uh pleasure generally now they will also come with uh, hdmi 2.1 guys they're good they're gonna come with hdmi 2.1 and these are AV receivers are priced well under a thousand dollars i'll get to the price later um so basically they're gonna come with support for auto low latency there's the they're gonna uh support 4k at 120 hertz uh there's there's, there's they're gonna have um quick uh frame transport as well they they are pretty much going to be the the entry level to premium audio as it is now um now yamaha said uh um the ak support will not be included when it's going to be launched that is only going to come via firmware update now granted the hardware has already been built into the 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 box of the of the the unit so it's it's just only a, a firmware update to actually activate the ability to process 8k videos uh whenever 8k becomes a thing really I, I really do not know why uh everyone wants to jump over the newly announced 4k processing technology and all the way up to 8k and it's 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 really crazy the way the, the world is really moving right now uh but but i think it's quite good uh everybody wants the best picture quality that they can get uh and i, I respect that so uh, basically what you're gonna get uh in the rx v6 is that uh, it's gonna have a hundred watts uh um per channel into two ohms um it is not going to give you all the best power that you need but it's going to support dolby atmos um dolby atmos height visualization uh which which is going to come via a firmware update the real the, the weird thing is that these things are not even coming out of the box so you're gonna still wait for yamaha to give you the update once uh it, it becomes available to them uh the the av receivers would would come with uh y power an updated y power uh, to give you better room calibration for better sound in any room you are going to have the AV receiver set up in uh, it's gonna support airplay to from Apple Spotify um, Amazon Alexa Google Assistant Siri enable devices um, and uh, it is very very um, very very well made it's very very well made why the rx v4a is going to be running on 80 watts per channel uh into uh into uh, two channels uh, driven i think at the same time now the price is um 650 pounds 
for the RX V6A and uh, the RX uh, V4A would be priced around 450 pounds which is a fantastic uh, price point for these two powerhouses that support all the latest uh, and greatest features right now granted it's not going to come out of the box you're going to get uh, the firmware updates to get it but it is still a fantastic uh, updates and uh, to the to their uh, new lineup and I, I'm quite glad about that so that's pretty much what is available right now in the audio space be sure to follow us on social media subscribe to our channel like our content I'll see you guys next time